Are you ready? Are you ready? I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak. Cause I got it like that. I hi my lovelies welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing amazingly well so in today's video we're going to be talking about my most complimented designer perfumes but before i start this video please make sure you're subscribed to my channel kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is before i start this video i would love to quickly share a few pieces that were kindly sent to me by anna louisa they reached out to me for the second time to collaborate with them for mother's day to all the mothers out there happy mother's day in advance we've already had mother's day in the uk but mother's day is also happening in america on the 12th of may which is next week sunday so to all the amazing mothers out there i'm sending you lots of love keep going well done and treat yourself on that special day so to treat myself <laughs> for mother's day because i celebrate both like me why not I actually got a few pieces from Ana Luisa. Like I said, they reached out to me for the second time and they asked me what I would love for Mother's Day. So now I picked two pieces that I really, really adore. I have one piece already, which I've spoken about before. It's my absolute favorite piece from Ana Luisa because I love gold. I love the shape of this. I love how this makes me feel. I just love that I get so many compliments on my bracelets. I'm somebody that loves to wear accessories, especially on my wrist, on my neck. I absolutely love this bracelet so much. It has not tarnished. I wear it every single day. And I've had this one, I want to say about three months now. And it's not tarnished. It's not, it still looks pristine. And I do take care of my bracelet. They come in amazing, amazing um, packaging. Um, so they come like this in this pouch. Now there are different colors of the pouch, but my bracelet came in this particular one. And they do have here um, the name, the thank you card, the attention to detail is just incredible and one thing i do love about this bracelet i'm going on about the bracelet a little bit because it's my favorite piece from the whole entire website now mine is like this so sometimes i'll have it like super tight like that it's not super tight it's just like it fits well they actually also send you an extension so you can add it on if you have a slightly thicker wrist than i do or if you want it to be a little bit loose on your wrist they do have an extension which is wonderful they are carbon neutral. They offer two year warranty on every single piece. They offer free returns. They offer free um, delivery to America and a small amount for other parts of the world. But obviously check your region before you order. But the prices for the delivery is actually quite affordable. Their prices start at just $39 and they have loads of discounts going on at the moment, especially for Mother's Day. So I will leave everything linked in my description box below actually i'll pin it in the comments of this video if you want to get something special for yourself for your mother your grandmother or your daughters that are mothers or you just want to treat yourself i suggest you check out their website i also got myself these earrings which i think are just so cute because to be quite honest i wear really big hoops and sometimes especially for work i want like a nice hoopy earring that is not too big that's not going to drag down my earlobes so i feel like these ones are really really nice size very light on my ears and it does make a little bit of a statement but it's more understated i also have this amazing necklace i just love every single piece i feel like sometimes having pieces like this that are so timeless can go with anything any occasion whether you're casual wearing whether you are going out dressed up to the nines you can definitely wear these pieces i love and now i'm going to move on to today's video now these are not going to be in any particular order but i will be giving you my top three at the end of the video so let's start with the first perfume we have a baby cat by ysl this is probably one of my most complimented vanillas in my collection this opens up quite spicy and smoky in my opinion it gets better in the dry down you've got to have that little bit of a patience 
to truly enjoy this perfume the opening is i've heard from so many people that they don't like it now i wouldn't go as far as i don't like it it's just a little bit challenging now if you like perfumes like Lune Feline by Atelier des Ors. If you like Eau de Audacity by Penhaligans, you are going to absolutely love Baby Cat. Now, this isn't hard to get, especially in the UK. Um, I don't know about anywhere else in the world, but you can get it on their website now. It's, it's there. <laughs> and I just think it's one of the most beautiful vanillas ever made. It gives me like that bossy vibe and it's long lasting. It's perfect for all year round, but more so in the spring evenings i wouldn't wear this in the summertime i just think it would feel very fiery it gives me actually a slight vibe of by the fireplace by replica in the opening but the dry down does go in a completely different direction but this is really really nice like try this out if you have not already baby cat by ysl the next perfume is la vie belle le extrait my goodness gracious me now if you've been here for a while you already know I don't like La Vie Belle. Yes, if you're new here, please don't come for me. I do not actually come for me. No, don't, don't do it. <laughs> I do not like La Vie Belle. I feel like it is so basic. It is so common. It is really boring. I've never, ever gotten the hype. However, when I got my nose on this perfume right here, I became truly obsessed and this perfume is even more special to me because one of my amazing subscribers slash sister got this for my birthday last year and I am eternally grateful to you Manuela you are just a gem in my life thank you so much this perfume smells like Le Vita Belle with a little bit of oud the oud is sprinkled it is not a pungent punchy oudy perfume just think of a super sweet floral perfume with a little bit of oud so like if you are getting into oud for the first time i would recommend this this is a super friendly easy going longer lasting to be quite honest the whole of the la via bell line are quite long lasting i've never ever had an issue with longevity i have never heard anyone say they have an issue with longevity this perfume is beyond amazing the bottle is so pretty i am in love with this la vie a belle let straight next is the most sweetest and buttery vanilla perfume in my collection and this is, is black tie by celine i have been going on and on and on about this perfume before everybody gone to the hype i was going on about this perfume this is like i said a super smooth buttery powdery vanilla it smells unreal it smells like a perfume that you just want to pick up when you're going on a nice date night or you're going to an occasion an event it doesn't scream it's not that type of a perfume this is giving me quiet luxury vibe it's a bit pricey for a vanilla because a lot of people find that you know vanilla shouldn't be that pricey but if you smell this you'd get it you'd get why it's this pricey now this perfume is not the most long lasting i will tell you that but the compliments especially when you hug someone when you're going in for a hug and you pull away from the person i can just almost imagine them pulling you back in again because you're gonna smell that delightful addictive just so sweet so womanly so beautiful i am obsessed so this is black tie by celine can you put that down so i can pull the perfume up no that one this one whoops yeah okay oh jeez this one is so happy <laughs> Oh, for flip's sake, what the actual F? <laughs> <laughs> so, the next perfume is so humongous. And I remember when I first showed this perfume to, to you lovely people out there, <laughs> you guys were like, what on earth? You, like, you literally have a lifetime supply of this perfume. Comment down below before I show you guys the perfume. If you've been here, you know exactly the perfume I'm talking about. And it is the almighty my burberry black look at like literally you can't see my face through this because it is so huge this is the bottle close up and personal and if you're wondering if i use this perfume yes i do once in a while because it's so hard for me to pick it up and use it it does come with a wand 
that you dip into there and then you just put it on your skin i do not need to over spray this or overuse this because the longevity on my burberry black is absolutely unbelievable i'm just gonna put it down for a bit goodness that's like a workout so this is 900 ml 900 and it was a gift from my husband and the thing with my burberry black perfume is that it's a very very strong scent it's not for the faint-hearted it is not a perfume that is girly or feminine or pretty it's actually a very bossy powerful perfume it has a lot of patchouli it's quite ambery it's got rose but what i get is like a super super strong green fruity because it does have a note of peach in there which peeps through a little bit it's a complex designer perfume and it was made by mr mfk himself so you can kind of get the vibe of this the quality is unreal this perfume is everything it's one of my favorite designer perfumes ever it gets compliments because it projects when you if you get this perfume and you spray it prepare to be shocked if you are not into this type of scent but give it time to settle i promise you the dry down on anybody's skin is absolutely unreal again this is beast mode this enters the room before you do it is not a sweet perfume not in the slightest it is not powdery it's a rose it's ambery it's very very spicy it's in your face but my goodness me it gets compliments from everybody men women anyone but if you wanna <laughs> give me a like please give me a like comment down below for carrying this bottle my gosh if you want it to be slightly sweeter or you want to inject a little bit of sweetness layer it with any vanilla or a rosy vanilla scent so you can layer it with perfumes like vanilla 28 that's always my go-to when it comes to layering um you can layer layer it with um seven virtues um vanilla woods it smells unreal with that perfume as well and yeah just like to tame it down a little bit any vanilla will do just perfectly this perfume is beautiful you have to try it to fully get it so that is my burberry black by burberry the next two perfumes are not in any way similar but I was thinking of perfumes that got me the most compliments out of these two and i want to say they are on par now i'm gonna go i'm gonna start with um valentino donna bonnie roma i always say i feel like this perfume is a little bit basic and it is i'm sorry i'm sorry i find it basic but it's a basic perfume that smells amazing now this is a sweet floral scent to my nose with a lot of vanilla and some florals it's not complex it's easy to love guys love this men love this perfume it actually comes off on my skin quite sweet which i really really love so if you like florals sweetness if you like your regular fruity floral with a nice vanilla dry down you are going to really enjoy this what i love most about this perfume is that if i can't find anything to wear in my collection i can always pull this i can always pull for this come rain come sunshine come winter like any season this perfume just works for some reason it's easy to wear i reach for it quite often i do have quite a bit of a dent in it to be fair and i just feel like it's just easy to wear very girly happy kind of scent next is very good girl by carolina herrera this is my favorite good girl now this has that sweet juicy lychee in the opening this also has some rose some vanilla if you like perfumes like angel nova by mugla and you like also delina but without the tartness you are going to really really love this this is a compliment beast there is never a time i wear this i could be going for a walk i could be going to a restaurant i get compliments from everybody this is insane i will repurchase this forever as long as they make very good girl i will always buy this perfume longevity is absolutely unreal i'm talking the whole day i wore this to work a few weeks ago and I took a decant with me. I always take an atomizer, whether I'm wearing a beast mode perfume, a silent perfume, whatever perfume I'm wearing, 
best believe i always carry a sample a decant with me and i didn't need to top up like i i bought the decant back home without needing to spray this perfume on that's how much it lasts and you're going to smell it on you throughout the day very good girl by carolina herrera it's a sexy man eater kind of perfumes although i hate that face when people say oh panty dropper man eater i'm just like mm, this sounds a little bit tacky that's just me that's just me <laughs> don't come for me people i just find those titling a little bit like panty dropper like mm. <laughs> the next perfume is leap Le Parfum. I despise the original Leap. You already know. And if you like that Leap, just do you ignore me. But in terms of the Leap line, the Le Parfum is my absolute favorite. Now, honey is a note in perfumes that I just can't really get with most of the time. But it's done so well in this. The lavender is not as loud. It's still there. I can still smell it. That's the issue with the original um, Leap. Is a lavender for me. It's too strong. I really do not like that perfume however i have complimented so many people on it but i just can't put it on myself the lavender in there just burst through my skin and i just don't like it for that reason but Libre parfum is sweeter it's got the honey it's got a ton of vanilla it makes me smile as you can see it's a compliment magnet it's a beast mode designer perfume that smells so unreal so inviting so addictive get your nose on this if you can a little goes a long way please do not overspray this perfume if you have it if you get it don't overspray it gets too much it gets the honey really comes out and it can sort of irritate your nose so keep it to i want to say just pause points like your arms your um, back of your knee your neck but not not your chest just your neck back of your ears keep it to a minimum don't go ham on the spray because it does get a little bit too much but aside from that this perfume is everything that i love in a designer perfume i'm obsessed i'm obsessed the next perfume is chance or tundra by chanel this is the other toilet I prefer it than the other perfume. Now, this has a note of quince, which I really don't like in perfumes like, I think it's um, Zerzhov. Mm. So I'm not a fan of the quince note in Dolce Amalfi. I still can't get with this perfume. I gave it to my daughter. She gave it right back. But it's not about this perfume. I'm just trying to make reference to the queen's note in here. It's not giving. And the queen's note in here, Passe Soir, this is one of the most loved perfumes in fragrance community with a lot of people that are familiar with BDK. But I am still trying to fall in love. I do like it a lot now than I did before because I took it out of my declutter, back into my collection. I'm wearing it a little bit, but I still get slightly bothered by the queen's note in the opening. But... The way it's done in here is perfection. I feel like the supporting notes make the queen's note not so heavy. It's light. The grapefruit gives it a lot of freshness. Um, the rose gives it a beautiful floral essence. This is so perfect for the everyday um, spring summer scent, jeans and t-shirt. Longevity on this is below average, I would say. This will last about four to five hours maybe but you can overspray carry your decan this is a compliment magnet guys seems to love this but more mature guys seems to enjoy this scent profile this is a beauty a lot of the chanel perfumes that i've tried just give me that older dated kind of scent and feel but this one does not so if you are worried about that kind of scent profile just go ahead and get Chance of Tundra and also Chance of Fresh. It's also a really beautiful, fresh scent. But this is my favorite from the whole entire Chanel line. So that is Chance of Tundra. So the next perfume is Burberry Elixir. This is a strawberry sweet cheesecake, cakey, just so addictive, almost like tasty kind of scent. Like... I can taste the scent if that makes sense it has notes of strawberry blackberry vanilla some amber some sandalwood it is so good 
very very creamy a little bit like tonic even though there isn't any milky notes in here but i feel like the vanilla and the strawberries are really doing a thing in this perfume i am truly in love with this this is so long last day like this lasts the whole day it's not a huge projector but people will definitely smell you so that is burberry her elixir next we have jimmy chu i want you forever now this has a very juicy note of cherry you do get the bitter almond in the opening but it comes off quite sweet with the cherries in here you do get some rose some tonka bean it's such a gourmand it's like a fruity gourmand in my opinion i prefer this to the original the original is like a fresher take on this one the original will be like a daytime scent and this will be a nighttime scent this is definitely date night worthy super super sexy perfect for any time of the year especially for date night so that is jimmy chu i want you forever and last but not least is l'entre de rouge now l'entre de rouge is a floral perfume you have to like your florals now it opens up with blood orange oh my god it's a very bright opening you get tuberose which i don't normally like in perfumes but they perfected it in this perfume now there is some sandalwood and patchouli in here which could throw people off because if you don't get it in the opening it actually settles in the dry down where the patchouli does come out and it gives it a slight bit of greenness which i personally think makes this perfume extra sexy but smell it before you buy it out of all of the laundry d line this is the best one and i've never ever heard anyone not like this particular one i feel like the original laundry d it's amazing but you'd get bored like if you're somebody that unless you have like one perfume in your collection and that's the only perfume you have you may just be happy with it but i feel like if you have a little bit more perfume maybe five to ten perfumes you will get bored by the original but this is not boring in the slightest this one and the one in the black bottle oh those two are the best out of all of the laundry d line but this one is my absolute favorite it is not blind by safe a lot of perfumes are not blind by safe but because this one is quite floral and the tuberose comes up so creamy it's not bubble gummy i feel like the tuberose in my way intense by Giorgio armani i feel like that's a bubble gummy tuberose but this is a more creamier type of tuberose this perfume is so beautiful i highly recommend it get your nose on it if you can so my lovelies let me <laughs> round it to my absolute top three in no particular order my burberry black black tie by celine and leave a lip perfume so my lovelies that is it for today's video comment down below your top three either from my list or from your perfume collection do not forget to check out anna luisa's website i will have everything linked in my description box below and also in the comment section on this video thank you once again for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video on sunday bye